or if they want to go to other dimensions they can wander around without visa or passport saint narada is an example he just uses his veena sings om namo narayanaya and he goes to whichever plane he wishes to travel sometimes he also comes to the earth plane these divine mudras are created by the great primeval lord shiva and by practicing them yogis gain the eight siddhis these siddhis are sought after by all siddhas and are difficult to obtain even for the maruts that is the devas there are eight psychic powers or siddhis but they are not the purpose of your practice remember that they come to test you to see whether the mind is weak or strong it's very easy to be tempted if you get these siddhis and you demonstrate them once or maybe twice then they leave you siddhi means energy like electricity due to the power built up in the various chakras if you have a battery you can use it for lighting or anything but when it is used up it is dead So if the siddhis come you are really in a dangerous situation because temptation will be very great all power corrupts that is the law siddhis are just a distraction for the mind the prana may be accumulating but using siddhis just disperses the prana perhaps it took you several lives to reach a certain level but just for a few minutes of pleasure by using siddhis you fall down to the bottom and have to start all over again it is just not worth it create siddhis but don't worry about them they are not your goal anyway they usually come only when you don't want them sivananda had the eight siddhis but he never demonstrated them he always prostrated before everybody they are much sought after by all siddhas and are difficult to obtain even by the devas even angels in heaven cannot obtain these powers because they don't have a physical body they have an astral body as they live on the astral plane they can't create fresh karma they live only in heaven with a karma which they created in their past lives they have to wait for thousands of years before they come back to the planet again get a human body again find a good teacher and again start to practice they may not even start because as they are still living in the pleasure centers in heaven when they come back they may just be born in say new york city where they know only champagne and caviar that is why angels are afraid of yogis like you who are practicing and disciplining your life they are jealous because you go beyond them so they put obstacles in front of you they try to tempt you with various types of powers but they are all obstacles this should be carefully kept secret as a casket of precious diamonds it should not be divulged to anyone just as the liaison with the married woman of noble family the three basic locks and seals are called mahabandha mahamudra and mahaveda they are very simple to learn but the pratipika says to keep them secret do not give them to everybody first of all people will laugh when they hear such things they won't understand what it means to get the breath into the sushumna so do not talk about this to anybody unless they are qualified through practice then benefit will come from these three beautiful practices at this point i want to talk about the nature of prana and its motion as the body is not only chemical in its nature but also electrical yogis can operate on the electrical body that is the energy body through pranayama bandhas and mudras these operations are all interrelated in the beginning of your practice you try to purify the nadis through anuloma viloma which is alternate nostril breathing with a proportion of 1 is to 4 is to 
you did this so that the prana which is the impulse of life force coming from the brain might come to a kind of rhythm eventually you can also have rhythm of the apana but only when you have practiced for a very long time what you discover is not a physical thing as mudras and bandhas are more subtle than asanas or pranayama even a beginner can see the benefits of asanas asanas and pranayama operate more on the gross physical level but they are the road to the mudras and bandhas what is called meditation in raja yoga is called stopping the impulses in hatha yoga but they are one and the same If you want to stop the fan you must turn off the switch so that the electrical impulse will no longer reach the motor which drives the blades likewise what we are trying to do is turn off the switches to various senses through the power of thought prana accumulates while breathing very gently at that time application of the bandhas causes the heart beat to go down also the pulse rate slows down metabolic activity slows down and brain waves go down from beta to alpha with even greater control of the breath the brain waves go down to the theta stage 3 to 7 cycles per second and then eventually they stop so we see that the brain waves change according to the breathing quality What we are trying to do with the bandhas and mudras is simple to understand. In everyday life, we select from among the many sounds we hear as we focus mainly on the sounds which are pleasing to us and try to block unpleasant ones. Examples might be the sound of a jack hammer breaking up a road or the sound of someone scolding us. we try to block such impulses so that they do not go to the brain and create a negative sensation in the thought atmosphere we do the same with a horrible sight or with a bad smell such as bad odor we try to shut these off in the same way with bandhas and mudras we are just switching off the impulses going to the brain we may not be able to shut off everything but we try to stop as much as possible in the beginning we have to learn to control by individual switches but later on it becomes so habitual that we can just use remote control everything comes to a standstill perhaps you think that some great teacher will touch you and you won't have to practice any asanas bandhas or mudras it doesn't usually happen that way only in rare cases it can happen because of the students practice of these things in past incarnations if many of his blocks are gone the few that remain in the present incarnation can be removed by even a teacher's gaze a touch or a word then the student reaches the highest samadhi but as i said before this is very rare